Ladies and gentlemen, what's good, what's good, what's good? It's your boy Omnisexual again. Uh, just finished dinner, finished costing my game, and right now we're about to cost Avocado, one of Mint's Terran players, against Omnimind. Uh, this is game two, I do believe. Game one was won by Omnimind as well. And uh, this is going to be some TV, uh, TVT. And uh, you want to take it away, bud? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What's up? It's uh, Omnipotent here. Uh, so it looks like uh, Purple Terran up in the uh, 9 o'clock position being Mind and uh, Avocado, the blue Terran in the twelve. I mean 6 o'clock position um, is Avocado. Avocado, this was in uh, the, what's it, the Polar Fluke tournament, I no, believe? No, this wasn't Polar Fluke as far as I know. This was. Oh, was the South African? No, again, not that either. This was just a random match that we'd uh, we'd organised. We haven't cast any of the um, any of the uh, polar fluke, not the polar fluke, sorry, the South African gaming tournaments yet. We haven't cast any of our matches. By the way, we are the champions, ladies and gentlemen, number one clan in South Africa. Represent for Omni Mind, pretty much raffle stomping every other clan by himself. Congrats to you, buddy. Um, he worked his way through Mint. Uh, and AOR and uh, some other people as well. And a bit of banter here going between these two players over here uh, as to what happened in the last game. If you go ahead and watch that, you'll see what it was about. Yeah, and it looks like both are, are opening up with exactly the same build uh, so far. Both going for uh, the gas and uh, the barracks. Um, mine looks like he's building in his ramp. Uh, that's the pretty much only difference between Avocado and Mind at the moment. Uh, both getting that Marine out. Mind, I wonder what he's going to decide to do. He could go for uh, for that Reaper um, if he he does scout out uh, that he is in close air and um, put down the Tech Lab immediately and get out a couple Reapers. But uh, we'll have to wait and see now uh, what happens. The uh, Marine popping out for Avocado just as Mine's uh, SCV gets in. But SCV's, uh, I mean, Mine's SCV does get a good uh, scout off. And it does look like a tech lab going down for Mind. Uh, very possible uh, for that for that Reaper uh, harassment going in um, onto this map right now. Yeah, definitely. Probably the Reaper harassment coming in. Avocado just throwing down there, you know. Is he supposed to be trying? Well, Avocado, we don't know. Do you want to look like a fucking moron when we re uh, when we uh, cast these replays, or do you want to look like you actually belong in Masters Division? I suppose that's the question you need to ask yourself before asking a retarded question like that. Yeah, it looks like both players actually deciding to go for Reapers based on what they counted. Uh, the Reaper opening um, is growing more popular nowadays in uh, the meta game, like just uh, between the early and uh, transition into mid game, where uh, you know the, the real serious units start to pop out. Uh, the, yeah, just the Reapers are made to go and uh, scout out a bit more, pick up a few SCVs if they could. Looks like mine's uh, Reaper just uh, getting in position here to pick off Avocado's uh, SCV, just making sure that nothing funny goes down. And a few uh, and, uh, kills, two kills it, so far for Avocado uh, on the SCVs. And uh, mine just getting his Reaper out in time. No words. Reaper coming down for Avocado either. I'm just <laughs> going straight Marine into Marauder, into Stimpak, into Expo, into Supply Depot. Yeah, yeah it looks like uh, both are fast expanding. Um, just one rack, Reaper rushing, uh, getting out that scouting information. Um, I'm going for a factory um, before Avocado. Yeah, that's right. Um, he looks like he might be getting out, uh, trying to get out some tanks before. Uh, or possibly Blue Flame Hellions before uh, Avocado. Uh, Avocado's uh, expansion down in position already. It's going to give him a slight timing um, advantage in that uh, in that sense. Still more Reapers coming out for mine. He's obviously expecting a bit more of an harass uh, of harass going uh, coming from from Avocado. Um, but he's just going straight in for uh, for the upgrade systems and Marines, uh, Marine Marauder. I think. Transfer going down from Avocado to go down to his his natural. Uh huh. Yeah, mine producing nothing out of that factory yet. Throwing down the starport straight after the factory, and uh, the command center, the additional command center in his base, just going to help him saturate his main fully before he takes his expo. 
And uh, yeah, other than that, he's uh, got Stim going down now. He's just started Stim. He's got those three Reapers hanging around the middle of the map there. They're probably going to make a make a bit of a push into Avocado's base, see what they can snipe. You know, three Reapers can, can be a bit of a ball ache, especially when your army's completely out of position, the way Avocado's army's out of position. Those Reapers just stunting the growth of those additional barracks, sniping off some more workers there. Let's have a look at the units lost tab right now. Seven units lost for Avocado at a value of 400. Four units lost for OmniMind at a value of 250. Omni managing to escape with all three Reapers intact and no damage done to either one of them. But he stunted the growth of those two uh, barracks, which uh, need two SCVs and still no SCVs back on those barracks yet. Yeah, and he did force Avocado to uh, uh, transfer his SCVs away. Just to save a few. He did pick up uh, quite a few if we take a look at the workers killed. Very it interesting like move from Avocado here. If you look up the top right hand side of the map, he's taken an expo. Omni Mind sees that SCV. That was brilliant timing. Omni Mind needs to know that there's something going down over here. Is he going to go up and scout that base up there? Omni Mind really needs to go up and scout. Omni Mind doesn't even bother. He, he actually doesn't even bother scouting that base. I think that, sure that was a bit of a too. bad decision. Um, well, I mean, you know, he saw that SCV going down there. He he's probably going to expect something, but he figures now that uh, now that uh, Avocado did scout those Reapers, he's going to probably expect something, and he's going to try and see if he can sneak in a bit more of uh, Reaper yeah. harass uh, down at his natural. And looks like the first tank coming. And looks like another a drop coming in from Omni Mind, a uh, drop full of uh, Marauders, and he's going to yeah. just try and distract with those uh, those Reapers. As the Which is what he's doing perfectly. Omnimund is uh, becoming quite well known for doing a two-pronged attack where, you know, you'll sort of be focusing out at what's happening at your expo at the front of your base and he'll drop just four units into your main and just stop everything, all sorts of production, and he'll just fuck with you. You know, that that's really what he enjoys to do. Uh, he, and look at those. Now those Reapers down at the bottom picking off the SCVs. A brilliant play. The dropship's going to make it out alive. And the Reapers are definitely going to make it out alive of that engagement. Absolutely phenomenal play coming up from uh, OmniMind. Avocado taking that top right-hand expansion. He's saturating it quite well. However, it is completely undefended. It has got nothing. OmniMind about to lose one of those Reapers. No, that Reaper just manages to escape over there on 8 HP in the right-hand side. And down comes the drop again. And the drop denied. No, not, not really denied. The drop's still going off. Those Marines will die. Mm, um, a stem going down on each of the marauders as soon as they fall. He, all the marines going down, but uh, uh, he saves the two marauders and flies away just in time. Still three three reapers sitting up there, each on uh, well two what, one on six kills, one on three, and one on one. If we take a look at the workers killed tab, bringing it up, uh, fifteen workers killed for four on the mind. Yeah, and also and only uh, three for that avocado. Happened. Something that happened down at the bottom side, the right, bottom right hand side was those three uh, Reapers finally met their maker. Yeah, he needed to really get rid of those Reapers. It must have been really annoying to deal with a big force, a big force um, coming down um, from from behind now. Mm. A few tanks, quite a few medevacs. Um, he does have stim, no concussive shell just yet, but um, that's all right. Uh, no combat shield uh, as of yet either. Avocado has um, has combat shields and he does not have concussive shells. But key thing is he doesn't have any medevacs to heal his units when um, a push comes in. So we're going to see a push coming in right now. Viking to spot for the tanks. Scan going off. A stim going off. Doesn't even bother to siege his tanks. A siege mode is not even uh, done research. Research it, yeah. Interesting, interesting timing just before. He's going to uh, trap him on that mode. ramp. He needs to get down. The, he's down the ramp, and that's this. This looks like the end of the game for me. That Viking just dropping down over there to sort of like uh, take some of the damage from some of those units. This is more than likely. Look at the force back at Omni Mine's base again. He's ready to push out. There comes the GG with the smiley face. And Overcodo leaves the... Yeah, he's, he's left again. That's it. I guess that's the end of it. And that is why... Fuck it. I don't even know, dude. You just got shot on. That's all. He, he did. He, he definitely couldn't handle uh, the, the multiple attacks coming in from the drops as well as the Reaper play. Um, he, he, yeah, he just his forces were split up too much in order you know, to actually go ahead and take up. The harass was too good in order for him to, to get the medevacs, to get the tanks. He was just going mass racks. 
uh, mass marine marauder without even medevacs. It's just uh, yeah, he was he was just forced into that position, very defensive, no attacks coming down, and just let mind uh, do what he wanted. I don't even think. I think the only unit of Avocado that passed the halfway line was one SCV when he was scouting at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Pretty much. And yeah, uh, that was a pretty good game from from mine. Very good, solid uh, Terran play, forcing yeah. a lot of stuff to to happen and a lot of stuff not to happen from from good harassment. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's been another fantastic Omnicast. We're gonna get out of your face, get out of your ears. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you very much, Omnipotent, my man. Take it easy, guys. This is Omnicast. We're out. Peace. Later.